what's going on it's tuba billy so my wife read some of an article to me this morning um from the new york times and uh it got me really wondering like how slow are these leftist media companies so it was talking about how um now natural immunity to get through here to a virus which shall not be named um is is actually a good thing and how it's beneficial and and it it is an actual thing when you know before they're saying oh you know you need the you need the jab there is no such thing as natural immunity so it's like all right well that's interesting and then it goes on to say that, um, you know, it, it's, it is all likelihood that uh, the overall statistics are exaggerated. I was like, well, you no kidding. It, you know, it's three years. It's been three years since all this mess started. And, um... Gosh, I remember when there were conspiracy theorists were saying this stuff. Talking about natural immunity. Talking about, you know, how, you know, if you died with that virus, it was counted as a that virus death. Whether or not you happen to, you know, die by getting struck by lightning on a motorcycle, if your autopsy showed that you had the virus, then you died from the virus. Um... And now the New York Times is saying, well, you know, that was kind of exaggerated. And all of those were kind of put in together. It's like, well, you don't, you don't say. Because, uh, we've been saying that for a long time. It's just, it's just amazing to me. That all these things that were conspiracies not too long ago. Um, all of a sudden, just, yeah, that, that's just fact. I mean, think about, um, oh yeah, the, the lab leak theory, right? That was, oh, that was unheard of. There's no possible way. Now, you know, yeah, yeah, that probably happened. Um, you know, Hunter Biden's laptop, that, oh, that doesn't exist. That's just a conspiracy. That's Russian misinformation. Uh, well, actually, yeah, that, that happened. Oh, let's see what else. Oh, yeah. You know, all, the, all those shady deals with the Bidens. You know, 10% going to the big guy. All oh, that, that's, that's hogwash. There's, there's no truth behind that. Well, yeah, it turns out, yep, it is. It's all true. Um, it's just unbelievable. Oh, yeah, and you remember January 6th? Um, I was like, hey, um, seems like there are a lot of, you know, undercover feds there. And, uh, now we have testimony from Capitol Beliefs chief saying, uh, yeah, there were, there were a lot there <laughs> um, and and then the whole narrative behind January 6th saying it was so violent yeah I mean there were there was violence and it was bad but saying that you know several police officers died um, and using Brian Sicknick as the example well when there's video evidence of him walking around inside the Capitol after the time when he was allegedly killed. Um, showing them peacefully walking through the Capitol, being let in by um, the Capitol Police. All the, all the narrative crumbles when light is applied. So darkness is the absence of light. And in the presence of light, darkness cannot stand. 
So, you know, bring everything to light. You know, talking about the election. Let's just, just explore it all. Let's talk about it. Why can't we talk about it? Because talking about it brings it to light. And if you bring it to light, the truth will come out. Uh, but if you keep shay, you know, sh keep sh um, what's the word I'm looking for? Keeping it in the shadows. If you keep um, saying, "Oh, it's just conspiracies and blah blah blah," shutting people up about it, hiding it all. Yeah, that's that's when false conspiracies come out but the thing about a lot of conspiracies nowadays they're based in at least a seed of truth I mean just look at uh, look at the conspiracy theorists who were talking about the the great reset and how they were they were branded as just lunatics right ring lunatics well now you've got the actual you know, people, the World Economic Forum, talking about the Great Reset, talking about a new world order, and all these things. So, conspiracy, fact. Let's see, what else? I mean, gosh, there's, there's just so many. It's just unbelievable. And the fact that you have the mainstream corporate media and I'm talking about all of them, all these corporate news outlets, all saying the same thing, even local news, all saying the same thing. Um, it's just disturbing. But when you have, you know, independent reporters, actual journalists, uh, people like it at the Blaze, at the Daily Wire, you know, Russell Brand, um, uh, Joe Rogan, uh, Jeremy at the Quartering. You've got then you've got comedians like Tyler Zed, bringing all of this idiocracy to light. It's amazing and. In presence of that light, the narrative and the um, the darkness crumbles, and it will. It will continue to crumble. But it will. It the darkness will always prevail as long as we keep giving way to it. As long as we don't shine the light on it. And right now we have politicians and um, leaders, unelected people, elites, trying their hardest to keep everything in the shadows. We need to blast all of them with as much light and truth as we can. So that all of their narratives are crumble, all of that, those falsehoods, all of that wickedness and evil will be brought to light. I mean, prime example. Recently, uh, the, the movie Sound of Freedom came out. I am looking forward to seeing that. Have not seen it yet, but you got you got leftist media calling that, you know, QAnon conspiracies. Oh, child trafficking doesn't happen. I thought that's something we could unite behind. Let's protect our children. Oh, but wait, no, no, no. The leftists, no, they're the ones who want to mutilate our children and sacrifice them to the gods of um, LGBTQIA2 spirit plus question marks. And that's exactly what they're doing. They're sacrificing them to their gods. So, do we live in evil? Yes. Yes, we do. Will evil give way to light? Yes. Yes, it will. And until that time, we just keep fighting, keep doing 
what we always do and not be silenced. You can't be silenced. You can't be afraid of being canceled. How do you be uncancelable? Don't care. I'm saying not care about people. Don't care about what they say. There are plenty of celebrities that are uncancelable. Can't un, un, can't, ugh, I can't talk. Uncancelable. Because they just tell like it is. Oh man. Riding through horse country, this is nice. Just please be excellent to each other. Tuba Billy signing out. God be with you till we meet again.